Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you are returning, don't forget to hit the little bell just so you get notified every time I upload a video so you never miss a beat. I am actually going to be doing a Zara haul today. So I've recently picked up a few bits over a couple of different trips and I really wanted to share it with you because Zara at the moment is probably my favourite it's ever been. Like there are so many amazing pieces in there that you just can't say no. Like it's so nice and everything is just amazing and Honestly, this is like a really refined version of what I could have come home with because I tried to not spend too much money, but I could have spent a small fortune, like being deadly serious. But I have already actually worn some of it and it's all stuff that I've been really heavily complimented on. So I feel like it's going to be one that you guys love and you're probably going to end up spending at least a little bit of money on it. But that's okay. Balance. You can spend a little bit on yourself because none of this is actually that expensive. Um, so I'm going to jump straight in and share with you the two bits that I picked up in Bilbao. So you might have already seen these on my Instagram account because I have already worn both of them. The first is this coat which cost me €29.99 Euros, but I believe that it's on the British website for £25. It is really thin, it's like a really nice like felted material but it's £25 and I feel like this is the kind of thing that is perfect for when it's not freezing and also you can layer it really well so you could wear like cardigans and jumpers and stuff underneath really easily. The other colours that they had I think was like camel and a dark grey which I already do own two coats fairly similar in those colours so I just went for the light grey and I'm just obsessed. If they had a black one I'd be going back and buying it, it's just so comfortable and easy and lightweight and I basically bought it in Bilbao because I needed a jacket and I just really loved it. Then we have my leopard print dress which you've definitely seen before because I've worn it so many times. It is just this little leopard print number which does need an iron because it's been in the wash. I literally just grabbed it out of the wash pot and it's just a really nice kind of smock style dress with the three quarter sleeves. It does have quite a deep V but it looks really gorgeous if you wear a lace bralette underneath and then you just have it kind of poking out as a little detail. I am loving wearing this with black boots at the moment. If you wear heeled boots or flat boots or whatever it is that you're wearing, really great autumnal dress especially with like a leather jacket or something thrown on the top as well. And it's just amazing. I love it. Leopard print and like snake print, just animal print is everywhere at the moment. So definitely one to invest in. They do also have a plain black version, which I'm thinking about getting because plain black is just so easy and classic and I can wear it year after year. So I think this is about £29.99, which is again, a really easy, affordable price for something that you will probably wear a lot. Like animal print to me, like leopard print and stuff is a style that I'll wear for years. So I know that it's one that's worth having. Then on a separate trip, I actually went in initially looking for a pair of shoes, which I still am yet to find. They're sold out in my size online. I can't find them anywhere. It is these shoes here, which are the yellow suede mules, and I'm obsessed. I really wanted them for Benidorm, but they haven't turned up in my life, and I've taken it as fate that I'm never going to find them. So I actually went in looking for the shoes and a dress and a bag, which are in this bag down here. The other bits are great, though, which I didn't intend to pick up, but I kind of got a bit spend happy. The first is this jumper, which was £29.99 again. Everything's really affordable that I got. I don't think anything was worth more than like £40. Um, but it's just this really really nice kind of cropped oversized bobble jumper which looks great over the top of a dress or a skirt but also really great tucked into jeans and stuff so definitely one to invest in if like me you have a million and one cream jumpers but you wanted something different like I just think it's so beautiful I'm absolutely obsessed with it I've been wearing it quite a lot already hence why it's just been washed and smells like the most amazing thing ever um, but £29.99 and again that's another thing that I've had quite a few compliments on and if you have watched any of my recent videos you'll know that I am currently investing in things that I know are more timeless and trying to focus on pieces that I can wear year after year after year trying to get rid of the whole fast fashion vibe out of my life which to be honest I was never really huge on anyway but I'm trying to kind of hone in and just focus on getting pieces in my life that are affordable for one high quality and things that I know that I can wear in five summers time or five Christmases time and it will still be something that can work in my wardrobe as a classic so I'm not going over the top with like multicolored prints and like loads of leopard print even though I've got a few bits of leopard print it's all things that I know will kind of come back in seasonally so this is another item that I got kind of focusing on that and these are £25 but they're quite good quality which is why £25 is completely more than acceptable it's just these high-waisted kind of black and white check gingham style trousers full length to the floor but high-waisted and they're quite nicely tailored so they've got the pockets and stuff at the back and the reason I love these is because it's quite hard as a girl to get high-waisted tailored trousers that are like suit style without getting ones that are elasticated because I hate elasticated trousers they just make me look a really weird shape I don't like them and these are just perfect I've been styling them with white roll necks or like a white fitted t-shirt you could put them with a big jumper like there's so many outfit options for these and also in summer they'd look great with just like a little crop top or something or even if you're on holiday just 
roll up the bottoms, stick on some Birkenstocks and put on like a white cami or something. Perfect. Um, definitely just giving myself an outfit inspiration for Benidorm. So these are probably going to be coming with. But I just love them. I think they're great. And £25.99 is such a good price. Then we have another dress, which I actually wore yesterday. I've literally been wearing things and putting them back in the bag so that I know that they're all there for this video. I believe this one, again, was £29.99. But it's a similar style in terms of like the deep V front. But it's a really, really oversized fit. And it's got this kind of dropped hem with the buttons down the front. It's very my style, very easy to wear. I actually wore this out on the weekend with some camel boots. I think it would look great with like a really big slouchy cardigan over the top or equally just with some like sandals or something in the summer. It's just a really easy versatile piece as is everything that I'm picking up at the moment. Okay, next, oh, we have this one. So this was bought for Benidorm. I haven't worn it yet. And this was £25.99. And it's just this shirt, which... I kind of fell in love with. I think it's really cool. It kind of reminded me of being on safari, but it's just a really nice kind of beigey colour, like a really nice kind of oatmeal shade. It's got the rolled up sleeves, which I would probably roll down, personal preference. It's got this like cinched in waist, which I thought was so adorable because this, over some like leather look jeans or even just over a skirt and stuff will look so sweet. And the colour is just perfect. Like it's such a me shade and it's just something that will go really well into my wardrobe. So definitely thinking about fitting this in quite nicely. And it's not something I ever normally really would have gone for but I just saw it on the shelf and the way that they paired it on the rail just made me really want it so I bought it. I was also a bit spent happy that day so whoopsie. Okay we have three more clothing items before I show you the bag. So the first is these which I haven't tried on yet but I'm hoping they're going to be a great fit and something that I'll wear a lot of. So these again £25.99. I feel like everything was about the same price. Um, it's just these kind of faux suede jeggings, leggings. I don't really know what you'd call them. They've put it as leggings but I really liked these. I think these with a giant oversized jumper in winter with some like nice black boots will just look really good. And there's something that I don't really own anything similar to but I kind of love them. Like I just think they're really really nice and like I said they're not something I'd ever have normally thought about wearing but... I just think they'll look really great and they're just easy to style so I've got those. I don't really know what more to say on them, they're just really really nice and I like them and they're not, yeah. Then moving on we have this which if you have been following me for a while you may have seen my most worn items videos which I haven't actually done one in a while and I'm going to get into that when I film the next one but I have this in a very similar other dress so I bought this in white and we called it the Amish dress because several people in my life didn't really like the dress they thought it was a bit Amish and I kind of loved it and a lot of you loved it I've seen it on a lot of people's Instagrams as well so it must have been quite a popular dress but they released um, an autumn version so I bought that too so this is the grey version which has long sleeves and I have no shame in the fact that I have two dresses that look really identical but I really liked it I haven't worn it yet because I'm not 100% sure if I'll keep it but this one was for oh that's weird it's got the euros on it so it's 49.95 euros but I believe it was about 49 pounds but yeah I like it it's again something that I can wear in summer it's quite versatile leather jacket over the top with some boots or you could wear it with heels or you could wear it with like dolly shoes or whatever you know very easy to wear um and then the last item which I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep I just potentially might take them back because I'm not sure is these trousers which were 19 99 and they look kind of like school trousers which is the reason I don't know if I'm going to send them back but they're just these paper bag waist trousers which are culottes they've got little pockets in the front and they've got a tie at the side which originally I did think was at the front but it's not it's most definitely at the side and I like them but I'm not in love with them so I think I'm going to try them on and see what they look like with different outfits and stuff and just see if there's something that I can fit into my wardrobe easily or not because if I can fit them in and I know that I'm going to wear them, then I'll definitely keep them. But at the moment, I just keep looking at them and thinking, this is definitely the trouser fabric that was used on my school skirt. And I don't know if I can quite get away from that, but I do like them, so I'm hoping I can. If not, no, no harm, I can just take them back. And then last but definitely not least is a bag which I am obsessed with. And it's a very summery bag, but I'm just loving it. And it's this one, which is kind of like a, a dupe of the designer one that everyone had in the summer. There was millions of versions of this everywhere, but I loved the handles of this one. And I didn't really like the bag before I saw this one. I just, the handles got me. But it's really, really gorgeous. You can, if you want to, take off the outer like bag bit. It is like detachable really easily. So if you did lose this trend in terms of like the net bag bit, you could just use the bag underneath if you wanted to which I'm actually thinking I potentially might use it as two bags like I could literally just use this one or this one or both or whatever don't know getting off topic but I really like it I think it's really cute I got the white because cream just fits better into my wardrobe I, there is a black version I just didn't like it as much and to be honest it's just a dream like I love the fact that it's got the long straps so you can wear it cross body it's got the little straps so you can kind of carry it in your hand and then also inside it has got all my stuffing because I've been using it for the last couple of days but it's just got a little drawstring detail so you can like drawstring all your stuff in so that it doesn't go missing or anything or like people's hands can't just like accidentally wander in but yeah 
really like this one and I think it was only about 29.99 ish but yeah that is the end of this video I really hope you enjoyed this haul if you like my haul videos don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment letting me know your favorite purchase of autumn and winter this year I know that everyone's kind of starting to invest into like heavy coats and stuff at the moment but I'm still very much in two minds about what I really want to be focusing on and I'm just not wanting to leave summer if you've watched my travel plans video you'll know that I'm in summer a lot for the next couple of months so make sure you go and watch that because it's a good one it'll keep you updated on where I'm at and what's happening but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.